Hi, I'm Fiona. I'm a sophomore mechanical engineer at Case Western, and this past summer I went abroad to Tianjin and I was a part of their global summer program. I, the program was set up so that way you take a language course and your culture course, and you spend your mornings ma learning Mandarin and then you spend your afternoons learning about Chinese culture. Um, the best part of the program is definitely the people. You get to meet a lot of really interesting people that you otherwise wouldn't have met. For example, they have all these cool exchange people or students from France and Italy, and they also have students from Australia that ended up joining our program. Um, one of the best things that the program actually offered was not the English-speaking people, but the Mandarin, pe Mandarin students are hosting us at the university. They were very willing to help communicate with, like, grocery shopping, for example. They were very willing to help you buy things if you needed them. They helped you set up, um, they helped you set up for the summer while you were there. They helped take you around the city and you got to go really learn what it was like to live in China. Um, one also, one of the cooler things about being with a bunch of students from other universities, and they were also all engineering students, by the way, um, was that learning that engineering all over the world is pretty similar. At Case, it's pretty easy to develop a carpal tunnel syndrome, where the only thing you see in front of you is Case Engineering, and the only thing that you see in, other, in your research lab is American Engineering. But what's really interesting is that other universities all do kind of the same thing. The Australian students, for example, also take MATLAB as part of their intro courses, which is pretty much identical to what we do here. They also t do really intense courses on physics and uh, statics, really, really intense courses on like computer programming and that and how that applies to um, other parts of engineering, which is really interesting because I didn't know that until then. Um, but definitely another thing that's really awesome about being in China was that they have the high-speed rail system, so it's pretty easy to travel from one point of China to another. One of the cooler trips that we did was we went to Xi'an and we saw the Terracotta Warriors, which is really impressive. You think you would think that um, seeing the photos would be enough, but there's something different about seeing it in person and having to really take in all the awe and grandeur of China. It's definitely not like grand in the same sense that Paris or Europe is grand, but going to China is like seeing these giant stone monuments and see, knowing that these ancient people did it by hand and all of it is like very artisanal crafting. It's definitely an eye-opening experience to see the Great Wall in person and you get to see all this cool stuff that old China did, but then when you travel to Beijing, which is only 30 minutes away from Tianjin, you see all the new China. You see all the Ferraris and Maseratis that are floating around the city. You see the new Silk Road or Silk Market that they have where they sell you fake Gucci handbags. But it's definitely one of the coolest things about study abroad is being able to have like a month or even two or three months if you could do for a semester to feel like you're doing nothing, but you're really learning and taking in so much from the culture around you. It's something that you don't get to have when you just stay at home or if you even just stay on campus. So I highly, highly recommend for everyone to try going abroad.